Uh, I'm, I'm Paul McLaughlin. I'm the uh, co-founder and CTO of Aptio. Um, we are uh, culturally, as a, as a company, we have um, everything from corporate mini golf with uh, free food and beer to community service uh, events. Uh, we got started about five years ago. Um, have a few hundred employees. We've raised a bunch of money from some top flight venture capitalists, Madrona, Greylock, um, and some public, uh, T. Rowe, Janus as well. Uh, and uh, what I, I, I've been, I've been, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a technologist, right? And so this is, a, this is probably the most difficult thing I'm going to do all year, standing up in front of 300 people. But um, I've, I've been watching the other presentations and I've worked it out. There's a pattern. What I've got to do is I've got to get something where you can put your hands up. So I thought I've been practicing my sales mojo. I thought maybe what I could do is find out if there are any potential Aptio customers in the room. So here we go. All right. So raise your hand if you've ever lost a, a, a million dollar purchase that you made. You know, I mean, it's like you can, you can, you can just be like, there's so much going on. Like you, you put it in, it's a few months, you don't have to hook it up. No? Uh, okay. Um, how, about, how about if you've had trouble orchestrating the budgeting process for your billion dollar IT budget? That's like everybody, like, really? Wow, shoot. This is, uh, this is, pretty, this is pretty awkward. Um, okay, so I'll tell you what. I'm just going to go back to the tech stuff, and we'll talk about that for a little bit. So what Aptio is is basically we're, we're mint for IT departments. We do spend analysis. We help with their budgeting. We do recommendations, right? So we'll tell them, you're spending too much here. You're spending more than he is on this. You know, too much on Amazon, not enough on Amazon. <laughs> you, you get the idea. Right, so I'm going to show you a quick little demo. Um, just, uh, and I do it one-handed because I, I, I don't sound otherwise. Uh, okay, so what it looks like. Basically, we have a platform. Um, it's much more interesting than talking about everything else, right? Basically, customers load a whole bunch of data, and you can't see half of it, but it's, <coughs> it's right down here. So you load a bunch of data, and anything you want, you just load data and think data warehouse in the sky, uh, and when you do that, basically, we, uh, we link it all up, and we automatically correlate and mash it together and find what the relationship between everything is. Once we've done that, this, this diagram, the schema is all done sort of automatically. Once you've got that, you can actually draw a financial model uh, formally stating where everything goes in your, uh, in your organization. So you can say, hey, I want to cost email. There's some servers that run that. The cost of a server includes the cost of the data center, which includes the cost of the, the tickets, the labor that works on it. And you can get some great um, knowledge of where money's going in your organization. You don't need to be confused anymore. Once you're not confused anymore, I'm going to have to make this a little bit smaller. One more. Okay, once uh, you, then we have some great analytics. So you can come in and you can start doing, this is the spend analysis I'm talking about. You can start looking at where my money's going. You can slice and dice it. You can click around and look at different parts of your, uh, of your system and find your, basically find your million dollars, right? So you can click around and, and slice and dice a different way. Now, it's not just uh, out-of-the-box reports. We have this cross between um, Excel and PowerPoint that you can use. This is a web app, right? And so if you jump into edit mode, you get something that looks a lot like Excel. Well, users love Excel, even for project management. Um, so you can go in here and you can add a new column. You can click in here. You can set up a formula. Uh, there's IntelliSense, you know, divided by the annual. I can even do this one-handed. Ah, there we go. Um, we can get a column. We can get percentages. It will kind of give us our, oh, I did something wrong. That would happen to me on the demo day. Let me start again. Um, uh, so in, insert a table, uh, and I can, I can do this column stuff here. If I grab the application, screen small, drag and drop, grab some metrics, cost, and I can arrange it however I want. I can ask for a pie chart or a bar chart. I can add it to my report. I can lay it out the way I want to do it, right? And I can look at this, slice and dice, look at it over time, um, grab months and trend. And so you can get also the analytics that you want. And the net of it is that when you're uh, running, let's jump back here, uh, that you're not uh, burning, burning, the burning money anymore. Now, um, uh, that's... Uh, it's not nearly as boring as it sounds. Um, we actually have a lot of fun projects going on, uh, everything from interaction design, user experience. Uh, we obviously have a very interactive web application. Um, we're doing some Hadoop. There's a lot of big data, billions of rows, petabytes of data uh, for all of our, all of our customers. Uh, 
getting a predictive statistical analysis, um, semantic modeling, ontology, benchmarking, comparing between customers, all the sort of the problems that you would find at big sort of social graph sites, but, um, uh, 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 but, but a small team. So you're only working with a couple of guys uh, doing Hadoop. We have two guys on Hadoop. We have zero guys on semantic modeling. Actually, if, if you're good at that, please find me. Um, we, we need a lot of help. So uh, that's, that's it. Thank you for your time.